Hey there, YouTubers. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we have a question from Esmat Kedri, and the question was uh, they have t up to let's say up to 20 values, right? So cell A1 through A20, and they want the very last cell at the bottom to have a different back color, so a different shading. Um, even if they change it to maybe 10 values, let's say the bottom most one needs to have a special uh, shading. So they asked, you know, how do you do that with VBA? They're new to VBA. Um, so I offered them a little advice, but I figured I would offer that in a video format for the rest of everybody. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just put uh, A1 through, let's just do, do 15 so that we can see this really easily. I'll just do equals rand between. So it's a random number between, let's say, 1 and 500. And we'll hit Control Enter. And we're going to copy that and right click paste as values. That's S V for paste special and V for value. Or you can click right there. So you right click S V special values. So now we have actual values in there. That's the first step. Now what we wanted to do is we wanted to make sure that the bottom one is always uh, you know shaded let's say yellow or something. So you can do this in VBA yes you can use a change event. Do I recommend that? No, that's overcomplicating things unless you have other variables that you want to include in there. What you want to do in this instance is use some conditional formatting, good old conditional formatting. So let's do that here. Uh, you can select the range that you want, A1 through A20. You could even select everything in A, like all of column A, so it'll just analyze that. So let's do that just for a sample. And we want it to always highlight the bottom most one in the group for some reason. So Alt O D for O for conditional and I don't know why formatting. But anyways, Alt key and then release the Alt key and press O D for conditional formatting. You can also click that button right there. I didn't even know it was there. I, I don't ever use that. Alt O D, okay? We're gonna create a new rule based on the current selection, okay? We use a formula to determine which cells to format and click in the formula bar here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, uh, I'm going to say the, the selected cell, the, the one that we're analyzing needs to be not blank and the one under it needs to be blank. So if you just look at it right here, this one is the one we'd want to change the condition and what's the condition? The condition is this one right here is not blank and the one under it is blank. That's when you want this one to light up. So now bring that over here and consider it as if it was this one, since this is the one we're analyzing for our formula. So click there, and we want to take those dollar signs off. We don't want only A1. We want whatever the one is positionally. We want to say the current one is not blank, and the one under it is blank. So hit F4, F4, F4 to take away the dollar signs. So equals, uh, actually, let's do an and. Okay, equals and. So what are the two things we want to say? We want to say A1 is not blank. So to do is not, you do um, less than equal, or less than greater than. So A1 is not blank, comma, what's the other thing in our and? Also, A2, A2 is blank. So you see that? This one needs to not be blank and the one below it needs to be blank and close parentheses to close up your AND statement. So as long as this is true AND this is true because they're in an AND formula then we can set the format and that's what it'll do. So click on format, let's go to fill and let's make it um, let's make it green for fun, okay? And we'll also go to the font and make sure that it's bold. So hit OK. Click OK again, and let's click. Uh, you can click Apply if you're going to do more. I'm just going to hit OK. Uh, there we go. So the conditional formatting says, hey, this one meets that condition, right? Because the one below it's blank and the current one is not blank. So let's erase that one. Oh, looky there. Let's erase all these. So the conditional formatting takes care of that for you really instantly. So you could just have a few. 
and it will make sure that that one's highlighted for you. So that's how to do that. Thanks for watching. God bless. Not exactly a not exactly a VBA lesson, but in all practicality, you don't need Visual Basic for everything. That's one of those things that conditional formatting automates for you. You just need to know how to manipulate the formulas in conditional formatting a little bit. It's very simple. If you have questions about how to put formulas in there, because a lot of it is in boolean format which is either a yes or no kind of thing it's either true or it's false it's not going to be a text or or a numbers necessarily so not it's kind of hard to get into the mode where you're thinking in trues or falses only um to take it so literal but if you need help with that give me a holler uh, make some comments if you want to download this sample workbook i'll go ahead and show you i'm saving it in my dropbox and you can look at my dropbox um, all the files that I share publicly are uh, in a shared uh, workbook folder, so I'll save that as. Um, and this will. I don't even need to save this at a macro enabled workbook. So this will be called Last Cell Highlighted, and you can find that right now by clicking on my Dropbox link. It just saved to my Dropbox account online and now you can download that. Just look for the one called Last Cell Highlight and you can download that workbook right away. Have fun. I'll add a few more uh, numbers here and you can take a look at that. Thanks for watching and God bless.